Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are in the car right now that Kosh Kuvi has lent us, and we are heading back to the garage for another day of filming. And Semi's a little bit tired. Yeah. There is a. There are 34 GTT wheels, aren't they? Uh mm huh. -hmm. And that's a. Uh, what is that? El Grand. That is awesome. El Graham with R34 GTT wheels on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see that every day. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're heading back to Kosh Kubi's workshop and we are going to, um, yeah, do some more filming and hang out with him. And we're pretty pumped for that. So let's go. I had to mic Kosh Kubi up for the interview and he had no pockets on the inside so I had to run the mic up his fly and then oh, up into no. <laughs> Come on! So the, the Wi-Fi pack's in here and I had to run the mic up his fly and then up to the top of his... Um, <laughs> Uh, what do you call those overalls? Is that what they are? No. Man. No! No! <laughs> so uh, it was quite fun miking him. Um, but yeah, it's been a blast. We've had a lot of fun shooting his interview. We've got a lot more interviews to shoot today. But for now, we're done. We're gonna have a quick lunch break. Um, but so far, so good. Gonna see how the boys are going out here. I think they've been stripping down the SR a bit more. Oh, you guys made a mess. Nice. <laughs> Uh, nice Z31. It's gonna be cool to see what a rotary is gonna look like in this. Shiochi. This is his 86. He painted it and did everything himself. Fiberglass rear, over fenders and front. He made this exhaust himself too. It's crazy awesome. Anyways, he's heading off now. He's got some awesome workmeisters too. He's got a royal grip steering wheel as well. Kaku, kaku e wheel. Ski. Mm, grip Royal. Mm. Okay guys, so um, we've just kind of had like a lunch break and everything um, and we're getting ready to shoot the next kind of part of the video which is we're going to be interviewing his son Roma and then his friend Shoichi here and um, essentially um, they're going to be you know, like talking about like you know how they um, how they observe like how Kosh Kubi works and things like that and just just kind of like you know get them to tell their story of how you know what they know of Kosh Kubi or what they think of him and that kind of thing or like how Kosh Kubi inspires Roma his son to work on cars and engines and stuff as well um, and we're going to shoot them and interview them while they're actually pulling the bottom end of this SR20 apart um, so they'll be pulling out um, obviously the crane, con rods, pistons and all that so that'll be kind of cool I think um, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Then after that, we're going to go shoot Shoichi's um, RX-7 FD, um, which is what that uh, brand new uh, 13B twin turbo engine is going in. Um, actually, I don't think I've shown you guys like a good look at that yet. And... Beans <laughs> Army 26. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you really quickly. This 13B twin turbo, it's running um, twin turbos, uh, N1 turbos off an RV26 from an R34 GTR. So you can see here, um, this has already been completely rebuilt. Um, essentially, they're still working on, uh, you know, they, they haven't finished the complete assembly yet. And that is because um, uh, they're still polishing a few parts and things like that. And the car itself isn't exactly ready for it to be dropped in yet because it needs to get painted, I think. Uh, it's still in uh, a base coat, but like this, uh, this exhaust manifold is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, like a lot of time and effort has gone into this, so it's actually quite nice to look at. And I can't wait to see this thing finished. And I really think this thing's going to spool up so quick with these two N1 turbos. It'd be really awesome. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, completely rebuilt and everything by Kosh Kubi San. Um, and it's just, yeah, really nice to see a 13B in this condition. This was the kind of like backdrop set and scene we kind of set up here for the interview with Kosh Kubi. Um, and you can see here, uh, this is a VQ25, I think. 
and uh, he's adapted four AGE um, throttle bodies, individual throttle bodies to suit it. And he's gonna be making a special system up here where the injector is before the throttle body, not after. So it's very interesting this setup and this is um, a customer contacted him and has bought this engine to be completed. So that's awesome. There's some Mark One SSR wheels there. Uh, here are the VQ pistons. Um, but this is an RB30 crank here. This is from one of the RB30s that I shipped him. Um, I sent him two and uh, he's going to be polishing the main journal on these later today on the lathe. So we're going to get shots of that. Um, yesterday we got shots of him polishing the Conrod journals. So that was kind of cool. Um, actually, I'll show you here. This is an, the other RB30 block we sent him. This one's in really good condition. He's going to be using this. Um, and then the block for that crank that I just showed you is this one here. Um, unfortunately, um, something happened. Uh, to this motor, and it looks like uh, the sidewall of the um, the sidewall of the block has been a little bit damaged and chipped, so it's going to get bought out for a stroker. But yeah. We are currently heading to um, shoot this FD. RX-7, um, which is shi Shiochi? Shi Shiochi. 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 Yeah, Shiochi. 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 Sorry, guys. So this weekend's been huge for me because um, like I'm learning a lot of Nagasaki Ben, which is kind of like a different dialect of Japanese. In case you don't know, Tokyo is like, I guess, like main Japanese that you would learn in school. Then there's Osaka Ben, Nagasaki Ben, and Kyushu. Kyushu Ben or no? No. Is there any? Yeah. Kagoshima. Kagoshima. Like, there's all these different kind of like dialects of Japanese, and they all can sound a little bit different how they pronounce things, like how they use their like uh, those little like uh, sounds that go in between like your words, like wa, no, ga, o. You know, like down here in Nagasaki, most of the time they don't even use those, but in Tokyo you would sound like an idiot if you said any of that, and you wouldn't make much sense. Anyway, so I'm following you here right now. Sorry, Roma right now to where this where? whoa this is epic this is awesome have a look where we are so let's check out this FD shall we oh you know so like I said it is in like base coat and uh, the wide what Meisters they all everyone here loves Meisters right works work Meisters you know damn this wide body looks so good There's literally not much room here at all. Like right here, the wheel is actually touching the kit. That's nuts. I love these wheels though, they look good. Oh, it's really stiff too. You know. So this is what's getting that um, twin turbo 13B. It's gonna be a nice car. Check out the wife. Loving it. On the digger. Damn, I'm more interested in this hydraulic press. <laughs> Holy hell. We could start the hydraulic press channel Japan. Have you seen that YouTube channel? Millions of views and all they do is film themselves doing press stuff. That's nuts. But yeah, these guys are, I guess, hire out these and do a lot of excavation here on the island. Which is kind of cool. I had no idea this is where it was. This is sick. This is awesome. All right, anyways, I'm gonna get the uh, Ronin out and the DSLR and get some slow shots and stuff of this thing. So I was just running to the car to get the Ronin and then I came across this uh, Japanese version of the Mini Cooper. So this is the same Mini Cooper that um, Moog from Marty Car Mods has. And uh, it has definitely seen better days, but just so you know like how tight everything is crammed in here, like that is pretty much almost touching this front save, I wonder if it's like, oh, oh my God. There is no room in this thing at all. Mood complained a lot that there was no space in this thing and I really see what he meant now. Like this is crazy. There is like no space in this.
Okay guys, so this is my friend Shoichi, and uh, I was talking a little bit about this motor before, and um, I didn't actually know that this was um, Shoichi's engine. He's he's bought this engine from Koshkubi-san to build, uh, or finish building. Um, and as you know, it's quite unique. It's a VQ35. Um, I think previously I got it wrong and I said it was VQ25, so sorry about that. Uh, anyways, he's got 4 AGE ITBs on this, and he's made special adapters and everything custom made so that they'll suit. Um, but Shoichi's going to put it in his FT86, which is quite unique, and I want to ask him why he's done that and get him to tell you that. I know, Shoichi-san, this engine, why do you the FT86 swap? Response? Engine sound. が好きで、かつ86に武器を乗せた。うん。通じとかいるけど、武器を乗せた。86を見たことがないと、あとはこの6スロットルで500馬力を目指したいなっていう。そうで。So, I got most of that except just the last part, uh, which I'll check with my wife. But essentially what he was saying was um, for response, he wants a high response, like when he puts his foot down so that it, it'll snap quickly and whatnot. Um, another thing was he's saying that, um, you know, he sees a lot of people doing like 2J swaps and JZ swaps and things like that in the FT86s and he wanted to be unique and he hasn't seen at all any VQ like Nissan swaps in one of them. So he picked it for that particular reason. As well as, um, what was he saying at the end? He said something about 500. I thought the horsepower. Yeah, yeah, so he wants to be able to get 500 HP or PS, did he say? 500 HP? Oh, no, Gohaku HP? Oh, so his aim is to get it up to 500 HP NA, naturally aspirated. That's going to sound awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he did also say that like with the ITBs and everything that, you know, he really likes the VQ sound, that V6 sound. So I think all in all, that's a really unique build and that's something quite awesome. I can't wait to see here in Japan. So good one. Good choice. So um, yeah, um, what I'll try to do is um, in future videos and stuff like that, when I'm in Goto, I'll try and give you guys updates on like all the different builds and things that are happening here. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see this in a lot more progress further ahead next time we're here at the end of the year. Um, so yeah, thanks Steve, sorry Steve. Was... Yeah. All right guys, so we are pretty much finished with like filming the main stuff today. Um, and then right now me and Sam are gonna get the R33 parted out a lot more to the point where tomorrow all we can do is pull the engine out with the crane. Um, so we're gonna be getting another truck with a crane just to pull it out and move it forward. Um, just because that's a lot easier than using this like overhead pole and winch because it has no wheels on it unfortunately so you can't just like pull the motor out and pull it back and as you know the car doesn't have wheels on it so we can't push the car back um, yeah so we're gonna go and use a truck with a crane and uh, yeah we need to have everything off it ready so that all we have to do is undo the engine mounts and the thing will slide out so hopefully we'll get that done in like 30-40 minutes I'll set a time lapse um, and then after that we're just gonna relax and explore the island a little bit at night so that'll be kind of fun Oh, 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 oh,